I mentioned that uh, we're going to eventually have a new president of the NCAA. College athletics are entering a new era, and athletes have more control than ever. Players can now transfer the transfer portal. You can earn money off your name, image, and likeness. And historically, the NCAA has had strict control over the athletes. Remember, they were called student-athletes back in the mid-'70s? Great marketing ploy there. Student-athletes. The NCAA president, Mark Emmert, announced that he would be resigning. Made this announcement yesterday. But he's probably not going to be resigning until next year. (laughs) Is he going to have a victory lap? Is this like, you know, Coach K, where you go each stop and we're going to give you something here? And let's bring out the president of the NCAA. All right, Mark. Yeah. NCAA signed a deal with eight years left on their previous contract. So in 2016, Emirat signed a deal with CBS and Turner Sports. And uh, this was for March Madness. The NCAA signed the deal eight years left on their previous contract. It's reported that the NCAA lost out on $3.5 billion by doing that. Emirat is the face of uh, the old NCAA, and with the NCAA rules and regulations starting to look a lot different, a fresh start at the top could make a lot of sense there. Could you say that he did what he was supposed to do? Now, you can say maybe he wasn't good for the sport. Was he good for the schools and keeping players under their thumbs? Um, you know, that's a bad business deal with uh, March Madness, $3.5 billion, but what he was asked to do. It's like Roger Goodell. Roger Goodell is asked to do things, told to do things by the owners. Might not be for the betterment of the players or the Players Association, but it's good for the people who employ him. Mark Emmerich, you know, he's doing what the presidents and athletic directors and coaches want. So did he do a good job? He might have been bad at what he did, but did he do a good job in being bad at what he did, if that makes sense? <laughs> yes. He... That's the uh, cousin of my thing about <laughs> being outshotted, I think. Um, it's tough to say, though, that he did a good job considering sort of where we are with sports, right? The NCAA as an organization is basically non-existent. NIL is the Wild West. You have the transfer portal, and that is a drastically different collegiate sports landscape than the one he inherited. Paulie, make the case for Mark Emmert doing a good job as the president of the NCAA. Wow. (laughs) Way to put me on an island there. Okay, Mark Emmert is like a guy who runs a great restaurant in a small town that never changes their menu and never changes their decor and has a great fan base that really supports them. Then that fan base gets older and older and older and times change with restaurants and they don't change anything and then they eventually die out. Mark Emmert decided to do nothing as the president and say, let the conferences do what they want, jump teams to team, conference to conference, let the, the networks take over the NCAA. ESPN and Fox, yeah. in that order, run college sports. And CBS. Yeah. They run college sports. Mark Emmert is the way station for the cash and the deals. And he, I'll bet they love him. I'll bet the schools and the networks love Mark Emmert in the fact that it let them go Wild West. Probably he was terrible for student athletes. And not great for fans because he tried too hard to keep it like 1985. Yes, he. Somebody on uh, social media on Twitter just referred to him as um, blockbuster video. Oh. Everybody saw it coming that things were changing, and yeah. they were like, "Nah, we're gonna stick with the DVDs and uh, VCRs <laughs> and stuff like that." And everybody saw it coming when Mark Emmer took over in was it 2010. Right, we were just talking about this a little earlier. When he took over in 2010, in 2011, Johnny Manziel was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Time saying, Magazine. Right, okay, Time Magazine, yeah. excuse me, saying, is it time to pay athletes? Yeah. Mark Emmert was in the exact position to figure that out and transition into the future, and instead he was like, nah, we're sticking with this rental thing. Instead of evolving, like the NCAA devolved, it didn't evolve, and they, don't, they never got anything done. You never heard the NCAA do anything unless somebody said, hey, uh, Yahoo Sports has just done this investigation. And here it is, NCAA. All right, we're going to look at it. All right, we're going to put uh, Ohio State on notice here. There's going to be sanctions here. This is the NCAA who had FBI wiretaps, but they couldn't do anything to Kansas basketball and Bill Self. Still waiting. Meanwhile... A couple of the guys who were the bag men for Kansas are in prison. <laughs> Bill Self will retire before this ever comes to light. 
Um, he just didn't get anything done in 12 years. What did he do? What did he get done? And I agree with Seton. If he had embraced name, image, and likeness, like they just didn't want the universities to have to pay. We don't want to pay them. They're getting an education. I understand all of this. Yes, you're getting an education. There are certain guys who deserve to get paid because they did more than, hey, you're getting a free education. And they took advantage of those student athletes. They, no, they took advantage of those athletes. And, and now the tables are turned a little bit. And that this is where the NCAA has got to get its head out of the sand and say, how do we make this? It's going to be different. But how do we make this equitable? How, do we, how are we smart? The NCAA has never, you know, I've never gotten that feeling of, man, they are sharp. NFL, they're sharp. They get stuff done. This situation with Mark Emmert, every time I heard him speak, I didn't hear him speak. I didn't hear him say anything. He talked. And I, maybe his, you know, his goal was to be vanilla. I mean, even, even there, you know, with the national title, and he calls Kansas City Jayhawks. Like, just, you shouldn't be in, in, in front of a camera. You shouldn't be out in public as the NCAA president. And I always thought that, you know, SEC commissioner, uh, Greg Sankey, was running the NCAA. And he probably is. Although the people saying, well, how about Jay Billis? And I'm thinking... Jay loves the sport of college basketball too much. And, and people pointed this out. It's like when, uh, before Rob Manfred was named baseball commissioner. How about Bob Costas? Well, Bob loves the game. If you're the president of the NCAA, you're not just going, hey, I get to go to March Madness and have great seats. You got to deal with all the other nonsense in college athletics, all of the sports, men and women. So I don't see that. If I'm Billis... Got a great job at the mothership. I'd stay there doing that. Be the president? Mm. Unless you're on an ego trip and you go, I'd like to be a president one day. Yes, he'd. He's been calling college basketball and doing this same gig, though, for a while. And he's, he seems to be very passionate about athletes and their future. He does. He I, does. <laughs> I could see that being an interesting proposition for him and, and a new era for him. I could see that. Yeah, Paul. I can assure you this, the last guy, the colleges, the athletic departments, and the networks would want as the <laughs> yeah, NCAA true. commissioner is Jay Billis. Yeah. You don't want some good guy who's altruistic and not a capitalist. Yeah. You want a guy who's morally flexible and just concerned about moving dollars around, which is Mark Emmert. No offense, Jay Billis. I'm actually complimenting you. But Mark Emmert's one thing. When Johnny Manziel was on the cover of Time Magazine, he avoided he avoided the topic of paying players for a decade. Yeah. And he, they still aren't. They, they let NIL kind of backdoor them. But the college uh, athletic departments don't share one dollar with the players, just like they didn't ten years ago and twenty years ago. But but didn't this evolve after Ed O'Bannon with the video game? He, he sued EA Sports. Yes, and, and you know you're trying to hey that's not you in that video game. Yes, it is. And and then yeah, I liken this to the NCAA was holding its breath for over a decade, just hoping that nothing would change. You know that everybody's making money. You know, we're, we're fine with all of this. And then all of a sudden, you know, they finally had to exhale. And then we realized they were just full of hot air. But when somebody says, Mark Emmert's stepping down, you had to step up to step down. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. How long? <laughs> We've been trying for 12 years with Mark Emmert. Since now. day one. <laughs> it continues to be unavailable. I, I think we time. had him on in 2013. Oh, did we? When he was still somewhat fresh in the job. Oh, okay. I think. Yes, yeah, Seton. So is the new poll question maybe Mark Emmert was? Oh, I don't know if anybody cares about Mark Emmert. You know, I, I, I mean, what is his legacy? He ran the NCAA for 12 years and nobody remembers anything he did. That's kind of the poll question. So okay. Mark Emmert was <laughs> either a wonderful steward of collegiate sports and its future or the person <laughs> who destroyed college athletics as we know it. Well, I wish I wrote that. We, yeah, we. <laughs> How about if you were Jay Billis? Would you stay at the mothership or would you, if offered, become the president of the NCAA? Yes, Tom. I would totally stay at the mothership. Picturing Jay in some Zoom meeting because a Division II school wants a little bit bigger of a lacrosse field and whatever else he'd have to do. <laughs> that just sounds painfully awful. I don't know if that actually happens, but I, I, get, I get the gist of what you're saying. 